So how does the spinning tube trick work? Well, a lot of you identified that the tube is rotating about its long axis, and it's also rotating horizontally about its middle. But how does that allow us to see one symbol and not the other? Well, let's say we press on the X. If you press down on the X, it'll actually be spinning backwards with respect to the motion of the tube in its horizontal rotation. So when the X turns to face upwards, it will actually be spinning backwards with the tube while the tube is moving forwards. So the velocity of the X will be reduced by its spin in the backwards direction. On the other hand, the O is spinning in the same direction as the tube is moving, which means that the O will move across your field of view much faster, and therefore it'll be much more difficult to see. I want to say a big thank you for all of those who submitted a video response. I really, really enjoyed watching your work. Baby Sunday! Okay. Right on the center of gravity. Hmm. Okay. 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 It's smart, he's got a smoother surface there. I like that. Oh. This is my favorite part. Spin that way in both directions. All right, it would spin the O would spin back towards me. So the side touching the ground travels less distance than the part not touching the ground, causing it to spin slightly slower. The outer part takes longer to do one. 72 hours? That's amazing. And here's our tools. dedication. I would also like to thank everyone who posted in the comments uh, their suggestions. I think Grumble45 was the first one to post a correct solution, so uh, well done to you. And this just shows me that uh, we need some more complicated physics puzzles for you guys to try to solve. So I'll see what I can do, and I'll post one up shortly. Until then, keep spinning those tubes.